Hey guys, Jack Spierko here with a quick product review for you. What I have today is a little tool. About a billion people make these things and sell them on Amazon. I'll show you some stuff about them uh, on screen here in just a second. But this is just an adjustable uh, little pulley system for your grow lights when you're starting your seeds or doing your hydroponics or stuff like that. A lot of manufacturers, including you know one that I'm very happy with, Marina, with their grow lights, will, will state distances up to 15 inches from your seedlings as an acceptable starting uh, distance of the light to the seedling. And it works, but it doesn't work as good as it could. What you want when you're doing any kind of growing is you kind of want little honey badger stocky plants. You know, you want like that wrestler you never wanted to wrestle when you were in high school. He was the same weight as you, but four inches shorter and in shape. Like that sucks up that, that kind of stocky mean honey badger thing. And what so what you need to be able to do is you need to be able to adjust the height of your lights. And these let you do that in a really simple, easy, and above all cheap way. And so this will go, this end here is the way I found best to run it, uh, attached to the roof. And then this will attach to your light. And you can use it for anything that you'd want to move up or down. And they're quite strong. I mean, I don't know how much it would hold, but I, I can't think of any of the lights that I use from the really uh, lightweight ones to some of the heavier ones that would really put a strain on this. Uh, so use it within its limits. I wouldn't try to hold a human with this. This is not for people to hang off of a cliff, but it certainly will work for just about any of your lights. And it's really simple. When you want to shorten it, you just simply hold the piece and you pull. And then when you want to lengthen it, there's a little tab that's right here and you pull down on it and you pull it the other way. If you need an instruction sheet to figure it out, you're probably not capable of running it. Like I said, a lot of people make them. The one I'm linking to in my review are these here, and it's mainly because I like the price. Uh, you get six pairs, which is 12 total uh, for $18.99. I ended up having to buy two packages, have some spares, because I have eight total lights in my system. I thought about taking like a piece of wood, mounting the lights to the wood, and then doing four of these so you can move the whole thing as an apparatus, and in the end, it wouldn't really save me any money, as cheap as these are, and we all know what's happened to lumber prices lately. Uh, so if unless you had some scrap wood laying around, that wouldn't work. And then I actually thought about it. Have you ever, like, been working with uh, your plants and you notice that some of them maybe are growing faster than others? If you have the ability to adjust your four lights per level, if that's what you're running like me individually, and you have some that are a little bit behind the other kids, you can keep them in one row under a lower light and move your others back and raise the lights up. Uh, another thing I wanted to say, like I said, a bunch of people make these things and the one I'm linking to says there's only 10 left in stock. Usually when I run something the day I run it, it sells out if it's low in stock, but I want to show you like down here, you see all of these, all these versions of it. I I'm going to bet you they're all exactly the same. They all look the same. They're probably, you know, this is definitely something made in Hong Kong or Taiwan or some part of China. Uh, so any of them that look like this will work just fine, I'm sure. The vendor I bought from shipped very quickly. Everything, nothing was broken. I can't tell you how their support would be. Again, here's a bunch more of them. So these are the guys you're looking for. I can't see any of these being a problem. When it comes to using them, let me uh, pull this up, and I'll show you how I use them personally. Right on the Barina lights, which are my favorite lights, they give you these little clips, and uh, you just attach your lower piece to the clip. And it, it's really, it couldn't be more simple. I probably didn't even need to include uh, a video in this write-up, but it's so easy to do with StreamYard and pull in the screens and I thought it would just be good. And, and because you may very well have to use a different manufacturer, I wanted to make it really clear how to find them and uh, that they really are all the same. Again, if you look at what this is, there's nothing proprietary about it. Is there a downside? The only downside I can come up with is however high you've built your system, this is going to fundamentally limit how high up you can raise your lights as opposed to attaching them directly to whatever your ceiling would be for that. So when you completely retract this, you now have a light hanging down about three inches. So you're going to lose three inches of vertical lift. If that's an issue for you, you need to think about how to mitigate it, or maybe this isn't the solution for you. And so people that are doing full grow outs maybe have multiple rack systems to deal with that. I don't know. 
I have my distance sufficiently for a two level uh, seed starting system that I don't ever see the point where that plant would be that tall and I'm not transplanting it out at that point or at least moving it in my greenhouse or something. So that's that's the one negative. Again, they are I would say these are fairly cheaply made, but I think sometimes cheap is all you really need. Uh, there's no need to have some sort of industrial aluminum alloy last forever thing uh, to hang a few grow lights over your plants. I will tell you the other thing is they come with a very long piece of string, right? And so I thought about like rolling it up and taping it. And I ended up just figuring out how short would I ever make it and ha have a little bit of a tail, cut it off, tie a knot, and burn its nylon, so burn the end of the rope. If you pulled it through, I'm not sure what kind of pain in the butt it would be to restring this. Um, I prefer not to have to find out. Uh, but if you, I did save all that trimming. That's a ton of extra, call it free bonus nylon cordage that you can use for other things on your homestead. With that, check these out. If you have a growth system and you've been unhappy with your ability to adjust the lights and you've been doing things like stacking boxes or books or something to lift your plants and lower them down, these things are so cheap, a little bit over a buck a piece. They work perfectly. Jack Spirico seal, seal of approval.